What is up guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video I am going to be showing you how to mine Ethereum using a gaming PC or any other computer you have lying around that will be powerful enough to run uh, the algorithms needed to mine Ethereum. So without further ado, let's get into this. So the first thing you're going to need is an Ethereum wallet in order for you to be able to send your earnings to a address. The wallet I'm going to be using is the Ledger hardware wallet, as that is where I've been storing my Ethereum so far. But for most people, uh, if you are just starting out with cryptocurrency and don't want to spend the money for a hardware wallet, I would check out, uh, oh, I would go ahead and just check out Exodus as personally, when it comes to a digital wallet, it's the quickest and easiest to set up. It is totally free and it's what I use for most of my altcoins actually. So that is what I would suggest if you are looking for a wallet. So first step, before you do anything, make sure you have a wallet which you can send the Ethereum to. Great, so as long as you have that set up, we can move on. The next step is we need to make a folder which is gonna contain the mining software. So you're just gonna right click on your desktop, press new, and then folder. You can call this folder whatever you like in theory, but because we are working with the NB Miner mining software, uh, I just prefer to name it NB Miner. Just keeps things simple. So now that we have that created, we need to go ahead and add it as an exclusion uh, on Windows so that the operating system doesn't flag this file as being malware or a virus. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press on the Windows logo or the start button, and you're gonna type in virus and threat protection, and it will show up as the best match. If you don't wanna do this, you can also press on settings, then go to Windows security, and then virus and threat protection, and you will come to the exact same place. And there's two things we're gonna to need to do in here. First of all, we're gonna scroll down to virus and threat protection settings, and we're gonna click on manage settings. The first thing we need to do is turn off real-time protection. The reason we need to turn this off is because otherwise Chrome will flag this software that we're going to be used to mining uh, as malware and it will not allow us to download it. Now don't worry, this software you're going to be using has been used by millions and millions of people all around the world. Um, for some reason though it still gets flagged up as a virus. So we're going to turn off real-time protection. Next we're going to scroll down and we're going to get to the tab that says exclusions and we're going to tap add or remove exclusions. And what we're basically doing is we're saying this folder right here, ignore it even if you think it has a virus. So we're going to press exclusion and we're going to add a folder because that's what we're currently working with. And we're going to make sure we select the NB minor folder right here and then press select folder, accept. And you will see that that path now shows up as an exclusion. So we can go ahead and just minimize that. And that folder is now excluded from the threat protection. Next, we're going to go ahead and download our mining software. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to be using NB Miner simply because it's really beginner friendly and easy to use. Uh, and it's also what I've been using uh, for my time mining. Um, so I, I personally trust it and it's been really, really reliable. So the current version is version 38.2. That might be different depending on when you're watching this video, but I'm going to select this top version. Make sure to download the zip file. And as you can see, uh, Chrome will go ahead and block it. Now we're going to press show all at the bottom right to bring up the downloads page. And we're going to press keep dangerous file, keep anyways. Don't worry, it's just a standard message saying dangerous. It is in no way dangerous. Um, they just put it there as their threat protection. So as you can see, it is now downloaded. So you're now going to head to your file explorer on your machine and press downloads and you will see NB Miner shows up at the top here. You're going to go ahead and extract it by right clicking on it, pressing extract, and we're not gonna just extract it to this folder, we're actually gonna press browse, and we need to make sure that we select the NB Miner folder, or whatever you named it, uh, to extract it. Otherwise, it will not be excluded and it will be flagged as a virus. Once you've selected that, press extract, and it is extracted to our MB minor folder. So you can see now our MB minor folder actually has something in it. So we're gonna click on that folder. Here we have the software and you can see there's a bunch of things in this folder. Now these first couple of items, you can basically go ahead and ignore. 
Uh, these are just the software that needs to run. You don't have to make any changes to this. The things we're going to be looking at today are all of these .bat files, which are batch files. These are what you actually use to go ahead and mine your coin. So we are going to be working with this file right here, the start underscore eth dot bat. That's because eth is short for Ethereum. So that is the coin that we are going to be mining today. In order to get the file set up, we are going to right click it and press edit. If you're on a Windows PC, it will say that Windows protected your PC. Click on more info and run anyway. As you can see, it's not dangerous. It just brings up a text file. So if you were to go ahead and just run the software now, it would be mining to a random pool and a random address. We do not want to do that. So let me take you through what is uh, written here. The software name, MB Miner. Uh, then after the dash A, that stands for the algorithm. And as you can see, it's ethash. That is the algorithm used to mine Ethereum. After the O, we see the pool that we are going to be mining to. Now, this is currently set to a default pool. We are going to actually go ahead and change that to a pool called Ethermine. Uh, I have used Ethermine since the beginning, and it is ex extremely beginners friendly and easy to use. So that's what I'm going to be using for today's tutorial. But if you feel comfortable, you can go ahead and use any pool you want. I'm going to start off by pressing the Start Mining button here in orange at the top right, and that will send us to the page with all the information we need to set up this file. The first thing we're gonna need is the server URL. Now, this one you've got to select depending on your region and which server uh, suits you the best. Um, you simply do this by selecting the server that's close to you. So we have Asia, Europe, uh, US East, US West, I believe that's the East Coast and the West Coast. Simply select whichever server is closest to you. So if you live in Asia, Europe, East Coast or West Coast, then it's quite easy which server you should choose. But say you live in the Midwest or you live in Africa, choose whatever server you think is close to you. So in the case of if you lived in the Midwest in the US, you would choose the US West uh, server link. Because I'm in Europe, I'm going to be using the uh, EU server URL. So we're just going to go ahead and copy that. Head back over to the uh, notepad. And we're going to replace that with the URL that's currently placed there by default, leaving in the colon and the numbers afterwards. Uh, let's go ahead and add space. There we go. So as you can see, it now says the Ethermine. You see that matches up perfectly. We have the Ethermine uh, server URL rather than the default one. You can also see that they have the numbers uh, one and four threes as the server port or the stratum port. We actually want to change that because the ether mine stratum port is actually quad four. So again, we're going to copy the three fours and replace it with in our batch file. Boom. So that is the pool setup and change. You can see now it's the eu ethermine.org port 44, which is exactly what is here. The next thing is the dash U, and that is the address that we want to mine to. So at the moment, it is set to a completely random Ethereum address. So if we were to start mining now, you will be mining to someone else's Ethereum address. What we're going to do is find our Ethereum address and paste it in there. So I'm going to head to Ledger Live, and I'm going to click Receive on my Ethereum uh, account. And this will show up or bring up my Ethereum address, which I can go ahead and copy. Now we're going to go ahead and replace it with the Ethereum address that is shown here. This is what I'm doing for Ledger. Again, if you're using Exodus or Trust Wallet, just go into the wallet, find your Ethereum account and click receive and that will show or bring up your wallet address. So we're going to go ahead and click paste. And now you can see that our Ethereum address is now in the file instead of the random one. You'll see here there's a uh, period followed by the word default. This is just used to go ahead and name your mining rig um, purely for organization and keeping things nice and clean. You can delete this and not have any name, but I'm going to go ahead and just change this to 2070 because that is the graphics card that I am personally using to mine Ethereum. Now that this is all set up, make sure to click file at the top left and save because you want to make sure that you have saved all the work you've done. And now you can just exit 
out. So now we're going to head back to our mining software. And instead of right clicking and pressing edit on the ETH file, we're actually just going to double click it. And double clicking it will open a command file and it will start mining Ethereum for us. So as you can see, uh, everything has been set and we can now just leave this window open and it will continuously mine Ethereum for us. If you want to go and see our statistics, we can head back over to the Ethermine website. And next to where we press start mining, it says mining address. If we just go ahead and paste our mining address in here, it will send us to our dashboard. Here you can see the amount of workers active. It currently says we don't have any workers active. That is because the pool takes, I'd say 15 minutes to 30 minutes to update and show your device. So if it doesn't show up straight away, give it some time. It will eventually show up as long as you've done everything correctly. Here you can see our unpaid balance, our estimated earnings based on our average hash rate, as you can see, not very high. Current hash rate, average hash rate, amount of shares, um, some graphs showing the hash rate, uh, and our workers. Currently there aren't any because it has not caught up. There's the payout tab. This shows when you have paid out and how much you have paid out, as well as the settings tab where you can change out how much you would like uh, to mine before it automatically pays it out to your address. So that is it. You are officially now mining Ethereum. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.